Good morning, everybody. It's like February 3rd or something. The date right here. <laughs> I don't know. Lost track. It's been a long season. But it's almost over, coming to an end. We are near the house today. My other WMA is closed this week. And then late muzzleloader starts next week for there. We're in late muzzleloader archery right now on this WMA. Um, I haven't seen a lot of chasing on camera. And not and I set up a couple cameras on some old scrapes from last year. And I got some activity, but not what I want to see. The wind is perfect. It's nice and cold this morning, like 44 degrees. But... I don't know where to go um so i'm hoping i choose the right spot this morning it's one of those mornings where i know if i no matter what tree i climb i'm gonna regret climbing it because i just don't know where where to go um because i'm not seeing what i want to see on camera but i woke up this morning and literally seen some does running through the camera which they usually never run through this camera so I'm hoping maybe they got there in the heat or something and uh, and something's chasing them. And if so, that means the estrus is all in that area. So I might go hunt over there in that area somewhere and see what happens. So wish me luck. I'm going to need it. It's been a hard, hard season. I've had my opportunities. <laughs> Last week I had a great opportunity at some wall hanger giants, but they, they never gave me a shot and it ate me up for like two days that i could not get a shot on them and it's the only shooters i've seen all season since uh opening weekend and uh and they were absolute giants and i could i'm on the right track so i think eventually it'll happen but it just it ate me up i could not get a shot i was ready i was set up and uh the brush that I was my cover up in the tree was blocking my shot I just could not get a shot off um so but it happens and uh hopefully something like that happens again this morning and I get a shot so we'll see I wasn't joking in my post on social media post and on last video of can't get away from the spikes I've seen one deer this morning already within 40 yards and it was a spike I filmed it a little bit but uh the wind's kind of swirling now it's not a very good wind for this spot so I don't know what to do I think I'm just gonna hope for the best and then get down midday and I'll find another spot for this wind good morning everybody day two yesterday all we seen was that spike can't get away from the spikes this season at all but they were moving yesterday morning not so much yesterday evening and it looks like they're moving again this morning just on the way in how many deer we see on the side of the highway has changed significantly it looks like the gland on that spike it came in was a little dark so hopefully they're chasing i moved out of there um i have a couple buddies that's going to go in there um, that we met on facebook or we met and they're gonna go in there and uh this morning and i'm gonna move out i found a spot with uh about a half dozen fresh scrapes after the rain a few days ago a couple of days ago and some nice rubs one rub he, he broke the tree pretty much in half a little tree but i'm gonna go in there and see if there's anything moving through i set a camera up there yesterday afternoon like midday and uh i haven't got anything so that might be a good sign that they're moving through there during the daytime. I was just hoping I didn't get any nighttime photos and that's what happened. So uh, let's get to it. See you guys in the stand. Some pretty thick stuff where I'm going. It's a little little overlooked area that I I just looked on the map and I just said, I'll bet nobody goes in here because it's, it's pretty close to the hiking trail. It's an overlooked area and... Uh, I don't know I just I just went in there and then I started seeing sign and I just said yeah this is gonna be it probably I checked out a couple of other spots and wasn't feeling it and the spot just seems to be pretty good so I'm gonna keep an eye on this spot in the future and bow hunting 
it's not a big deal with the hiking trail because these deer are used to people riding their bikes and hiking through. So it's just a matter of uh, just getting in there, getting up a tree, staying still. So I've just got down for a quick lunch. It is one o'clock in a few more hours. I think it's dark at 5.30, so we had a good little set. I've been sitting all day. Literally took 10 minutes to eat lunch and come back up in here. Hopefully I didn't make too much noise and racket. These leaves are really crunchy, but I've had no deer. There's a lot of deer sign in here but no deer at all so i'm hoping this isn't a nighttime spot but we're gonna sit through it and figure this out because i kind of like the way this one looks and sits there's not many trees you can climb and not a lot of hunters can climb in here with climbers you have to have like a saddle to get in here so uh we're gonna see how this plays out you guys can see it's pretty thick this is what all of it looks like there's a scrape like right here. And then this little deer moss pass, there's rubs all the way down it. It's like eight rubs. There's like four scrapes. There's some rubs behind me, some old ones. So they're using this area. And hopefully I can make a video for you guys and get something down today. So, this morning it was nice and cold, no action. When I was climbing a tree, I noticed a weird hole in this limb right next to my, my pack where I rested my pack. And not thinking anything of it, I'm still in this tree by the way, but it's warmed up and it's full of carpenter bees. Um, they haven't bothered me, so I'm not gonna bother them. Hopefully they don't sting me or, or anything, but uh, I've never really gotten stung by a carpenter bee and I'm not gonna touch this tree limb. I'm just gonna let her, let them have it. And that's their side of the tree. I only got like half hour until I gotta get down. And uh, that was my, my weekend pretty much. Not much action, just a little spike yesterday morning. And, and fun activities. I did see a lot of stuff today in this area, this new spot I found. A lot of woodpeckers, just a couple of squirrels, but a lot of cardinals and blue jays. Like they're everywhere. I kept thinking deer coming in. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And until next time, next week is rutcation. Hopefully they're in rut where we're gonna be. I got six days off to hunt the last week of hunting. Hopefully we can get one down. Stay tuned.